Ice Cube sat down with Donald Trump and started trending for sitting down with Donald Trump. Quite a few people attacked him. There were quite a few men who uh, supported him and said that, you know, what is wrong with talking to both parties about the black agenda? Because it is, it should not be a partisan issue. And um, he tweeted in defense of himself because, I mean, when I, the, you know, he was getting it. And he said, when I got to, uh, when I got bus to school, homies called me a sellout. When I started rapping in 1983, baggers, bangers called me a sellout. When I left NWA, they called me a sellout. When I start doing movies, rappers call me a sellout. When I started my own league, the arena said it was a sellout. Now, uh, that league, I was told um, he got some money from Steve Bannon for that league. Black progress is a bipartisan issue. When when we created the contract with Black America, we accepted, um, I, I guess he said uh, accepted, to talk to both sides of the aisle. Talking truth to power is part of the process. Now, a lot of people defended Ice Cube and said, we're supposed to be holding both political parties accountable. And sure, we should be sitting down with both political parties. And then there were the people who said, Donald Trump has lied how many times, Alonzo? 20,000. So what you know, do you think he's telling the truth now? Go ahead. Well, this one, uh, you know, is a tough one for me. And, and I read the article that you sent. It's very interesting in the article that at some point, they had to tell Jared Kushner and the um, Republican people that Ice Cube was an influence in the black community. And it's like, if you don't know who Ice Cube is, you know what I mean? Like if you had to be told who he is, how much are you gonna help? Mm -hmm. I get what Ice Cube is saying. You, you wanna deal with both sides. But I also, this was like Steve Harvey. This was uh, to much lesser extent when uh, Dave Chappelle said on Saturday Night Live when Trump got elected, give him a chance. And then Chappelle came back and said, I was wrong, you know, et cetera, et cetera. They've shown who they are, right? You, you have the Lindsey Graham quote about South Carolina. They've shown who they are. Now, the other side of it is, well, Democrats haven't done enough. They Listen, I'd roll my dice on the Democrats. And the Biden campaign didn't say they won't talk to Ice Cube. They said, We'll talk to you after the election. They said, we're in the campaign right now. We'll talk to you after the election. Uh, there's, you know, people still have a beef with Barack Obama saying Barack Obama didn't do enough for black people. But Barack Obama for six of his eight years was fighting against the Senate on every single issue. So, you know, am I gonna sit up here and call Ice Cube a sellout? In no way am I. Now you wanna talk about a businessman? That man's created an empire. There's a businessman for you. So, you know, he's he, besides being a rapper and movie star, he's an intelligent man and he is a businessman. I respect him. Would I ever go talk to the Trump administration? No, because I, I they're not going to do anything. Jared Kushner, if one thing Jared Kushner's shown is that he's not good at anything. Every Everything he's been put in charge of, he's done nothing, whether it be dealing with Israel or the coronavirus or, or anything else. So, so um, I, I got no hate for Ice Cube for doing this. I think it's a waste of his time. And I think they were their, their attempt is to use him as a puppet. And he said he's not going to be used. But they were just hoping that they could get a photo op or, or somehow associate his name with their party. Uh, but you know, yeah, he that, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of. I hate to be, but I'm non-committal. Well, no, I'm not going to say I'm non-committal. I'm not going to drag Ice Cube for doing this. Um, he is, you know, it's like when Jay Z joined the NFL. He said, "Look, there's a time to protest, and then there's a time for action, and I'm going to get involved with them for action, and I'm not going to be taken advantage of." And I don't think uh, people like Jay Z or Ice Cube can be manipulated and taken advantage of. This isn't a Candace Owen or a, or a Herman Cain. This right. is somebody who's stronger than that. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna drag Ice Cube either. I think um, one of the things that I saw, a lot of the things that I read were that a lot of white people 
who were upset about their white issues were upset with Ice Cube, but the black agenda is always secondary to a lot of those agendas. Sure, climate change is an issue. Sure, that we, we're, we're dealing with a lot of issues in this country, but the fact that there are more, probably more black men in prison right now than are free, that they're being murdered and women are being killed, what happened with Breonna Taylor, what happened with George Floyd, what happened with Ahmaud Aubrey. We, and, you know, we are dealing with a crisis and it is, it is a real crisis and it may not seem like a real crisis to you if that's not your reality. Ice Cube is specifically speaking to the issues of black people in this country. And he took his plan to both parties. But the reality of a law or any um, you know, initiative going into practice in the next two to three weeks is highly unlikely. And we all know that politicians all tell us everything we want to hear before the election. We have to see after they get in office if they're actually going to do anything. And I think people un need to understand the political process in this country a little bit better, because when people do say that about Barack Obama, as if he could just snap his fingers and um, and just make something happen, they didn't realize that he couldn't even get Merrick Garland into, into the Supreme Court. They shut him down. And now here they're trying to get this handmaid into the Supreme Court. Um, and so I just think that, you know, black people in this country and people of color are always held to a higher standard than everybody else with less of the resources. Well, Ida, um, once again, I'm going to go sexist and the people are going to hate me in the comments and this and that. But you, as an attractive woman, are used to men saying anything trying to get what they want. Yeah. <laughs> This is what politicians do. They'll say anything three weeks before the election. This is what I would love. What if, what if the country, the constitution, well, the constitution tries already, but what if they were to treat black people, Latin people, other, I always say other because that includes every group outside of that white process. What if they were to treat you like people so that human rights just apply to you you know what if you didn't have to have like what if we were got to a point and i know it's a dream but what if we got to a point where there didn't have to be a black agenda because everyone was treated equally like they can't even imagine that they can't even imagine not separating you because you're black or not separating you because you're a woman or not separating you because you're Latinx or not separating you because you're gay or whatever, and to just have the rights apply to you, you know, um, the people fighting, you know, there's always, you know, you say black lives matter and they're like, oh, white lives matter, all lives matter. Well, those lives aren't in danger. You know, I've been saying this for a long time. If I say save the whales, I'm not saying fuck the dolphins. <laughs> I'm saying the whales are having a rough time right now, you know? No. Uh, so yeah. It, let let black people be treated as human and then black rights become human rights. I'm with you. 